presented by churchtechu.com. It's the ProPresenter Show. On today's show, how to use ProPresenter 7 for digital signage. Hi, and welcome again to the ProPresenter Show. This is the show where I teach you all about ProPresenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. And before we get started, if you've ever wondered, hey, how can I take the feed for things to the next level in ProPresenter 7? Go ahead, give me a thumbs up, and uh, go ahead, like, subscribe, etc. So, I did a version of this with ProPresenter 5. And some people have been asking how to do this with ProPresenter 7. So I thought that I'd show you how to do it. So let's head over to my computer, and we'll take a look. So here we are in Pro 7, and um, the first thing I want you to consider is that um, we have a few features that make this better in ProPresenter 7. First off, um, we have the announcements layer. Now, right now, I'm using that for my digital signage um, here. You could use it for a uh, teaching TV, etc. Well, I'm going to go ahead and turn this off so that it's uh, less distracting. And then uh, we're going to use that layer. So let's first off clear out the announcements layer. And you would use the this announcements layer if you're doing it on the same uh same computer as you're using ProPresenter for for other things. So let me go ahead and I'm going to create a new presentation. Presentation is, of course, the name of the document inside ProPresenter. So I'm going to call this Digital Signage. I'm just going to leave that with all the default stuff, first thing I'm going to do is click on this right here to turn it to the announcement layer. That's how you do that. So just by glancing at that, you can see that we're on the announcement layer. Now I'm going to right click and go into edit slide. And we've got a few different features that perhaps would be helpful to you. So I'm going to go ahead and click on on this big plus button and let's let's add some media so let me go to this because I think that I've got a slide that will work perfectly for this so I'm gonna click that I've already brought this in, so that's why it's saying this. So we can, I'm just going to put in a new version, okay? First thing, clearly I've got an issue here in that it's um, rotated incorrectly. Happily, I can transform that pretty easily by, let's go see if 90 will do it. It's either 90, no, 180 is what I want. 180. And then, oh, sorry, 270 is what I meant. I uh, guess my coffee hadn't kicked in like I thought it had. Okay, now let's scale to fit that. Okay, so I'm going to put that up in the upper left-hand corner here. So that's the first thing, but... I kind of want that to be a little bit bigger, so let's stretch it just a bit. We'll put that there. Now I'm going to add another thing back to media here. And I'm going to add my logo. That one will work. Okay. So I'm going to 
shrink that down here put it in the lower left hand corner okay and then I've got some space for some other stuff so let me just put in a shape just as a placeholder oops undo what the heck okay let's put that shape back in So I could put that in and maybe a text box. Oops, got a second text box there. So, and let me add so. Basically, just to tell you what I'm thinking is I can have three things down here, a logo, and a couple of things up here. One thing that I can do with ProPresenter 7 that is really neat is let me add another text object here. And... drag that over here so what if I wanted to have stuff update automatically well you don't have a ton of control with this but if we go down here to linked text let me make this go away and go down here I can do an RSS feed so an RSS feed is it's something that a lot of websites generate automatically that basically has a list of things in it. So let me give you some examples of things that maybe would be helpful. Maybe you've got a page um, on a WordPress site, for example, that just has a list of your announcements. You could put the RSS feed in here and it would uh, check it from time to time and update it automatically. If you have a po uh, podcast, that's how podcasts work. If it's actually a podcast, not just something that you call a podcast that isn't a podcast, then you can um, put the RSS feed in there and it would update with your latest episodes. You could also just go to, um, there are weather websites that have an RSS feed and it would have your local weather updated automatically. So you have a lot of uh, functions there that you could do. Another thing that you could do is if we go back here to show, I could on uh, the props layer, so if I go down here, click on props, I could add a countdown. So actually, let me sh just do my regular one that I've got on the messages layer. And that's service countdown. We can see that I still have that key in. But as long as that's showing up, I could have that show up right there. Just go into. Um, screens and then edit looks and enable that 
so I can automatically change stuff with the RSS feed. I could have a message for countdown when church is about to start. I could have um, a um, any number of messages or other things on any of the layers above that. So in addition to the announcements, we could put it on the props layer, or we could put it on the messages layer, or both. So we have all kinds of flexibility here. I will tell you one other thing. If you're saying, Paul, that's great, but it's a little more than I need, what I'd really love to be able to do is just get our pre-service announcement loop and have that show up on um, TVs in the uh, in the lobby, the vestibule, whatever you call it, and uh, the narthex, and have that just update whenever I update it in ProPresenter and then quit it. Well, Dan Owen has been playing around with the ProPresenter um, API that was released along with 7.9 and has a free little app that does exactly that. So basically what it will do is if you've got an Apple TV, I think an Apple TV would work. If you've got something with a web browser, you could connect your TVs to whatever that is, you know, uh, a NUC, um, something with a web browser and you put in the IP address and the port and everything and it goes to ProPresenter, asks for thumbnails of a certain presentation and then it'll just continue to play those even when ProPresenter is off. So I'll leave the link to that below as well. So those are a couple of different ways that you can do um, digital signage. There's someone else by the way that uh, did another video and I'll leave a link to his video below as well just so that you can get a gist of some of the different things that are possible. So that's how to do digital signage in ProPresenter 7. If you like this content I bet you'd like my ProPresenter 7 Quick Start course so head on over to tdm.fyi slash pro 7 quick Give me your name and email address, and then I'll create a login for you so that you can take that class for free instead of paying $29, the regular price of it. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from TrinityDigitalMedia.com and ChurchTechU.com reminding you to go out and change eternity.